Good morning, I'm Rachel Adams and I'm going to be chatting to artist Pat Thornton again about um, maybe a little bit more specifically about uh, our working process. So, um, Pat, if you'd like to launch into, um, yeah. into especially your use of, of sketchbooks. Yes, I'm in my studio now, or well, my winter studio, which is a, a tiny little room next to a radiator, which is quite important. Um, <laughs> and uh, um, it's very small, but it's it's fine. I've actually done quite big work in here. It's it's uh, an upstairs bedroom about three metres by two. <laughs> and um, uh, but yes, my working process is often with by using uh, found imagery that uh, intrigues me. Um, usually, usually anonymous um, figures that I found in the newspaper or um, roaming around on the internet. And they intrigue me for some reason. And um, I will extract you... them. I'm oh, sorry, interrupting, but have you got like an example of, of one yes, you could show? I mean, exactly, you know, um, I don't know, I have no, I have no memory of the context of that little figure, but you know, she seemed useful. Um, so, uh, um, is it? Can you can you elaborate? Can you what what would what? I mean, is there a is there a pattern to? I well, I quite like. There isn't really a pattern. I think gesture is important, which is flapping about a bit. And um, I like the fact that um, her hands are clasped together and her feet are clasped together. And I kind of um, wanted her like fixed to a line or a rectangle on on the floor. So I sort of did that. But I mean, I've, I've done loads of all sorts of other ones, you know. Um, there's those uh, extraordinary photographs of um, people in buses framed in those little squares. Um, and I think that was a Windrush um, photograph, which I found quite intriguing. That they're all, it, yeah. Again, it's always gesture. It's always gesture. I've never and what done about it. facial expression or is it gesture yeah, in that I mean, sort of, is, is body? Yeah, the um, other one that, um, I particular yes I mean these for instance um these are all from football so this is the sports page um, <laughs> which normally I put on the fire but oh my um, gosh I'm just seeing the man with the hands on his head now yeah, that's something. I just love I just thought you know take that out of context what are they saying you know and yeah. um and I do, I, I, I am rather obsessed with people either with their hands over their mouths or, um, you know, in some kind of gesture of exasperation or, um, I mean, this is extraordinary Gerhard Richter um, uh, photo of Jackie Kennedy. Um, oh, yeah. And, and so it's, it, it, it's kind of, um, it's a kind, oh, there's a, there's a lot of trauma in in this. I mean, I mean, football, yeah. football well, yes. sports is even. You know, the 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 kind of it's extreme it's emotion stress. anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it, I think even when something, if something amazing was to happen, I'd probably go, <gasps> you know, the rapid intake of breath, um, and. I suppose that's why, you know, and I, I, I am also very keen on these sort of very gestural paint marks. Um, and I don't know, the other thing is if I, what I like about finding imagery and collage is I manage to take myself by surprise. Whereas if I overthink a painting, um, if I overthink a painting, it all becomes too researched and thought out and... Um, uh, does, it, does it flatten I don't it out, myself. It, yeah. It, yeah. it takes the... I mean, if, it, if it's all about the sort of intake of breath and that, that, but, that caught moment, and I, then, I think, then you can't... I, yeah, you can't overpaint that, can you, without yeah. it... Um, 
losing that drama? I think I like to surprise myself when I'm painting and reaching into something that probably my inner sensor would go, oh, you can't paint that or um, no, you don't want to go down there or, you know, and actually that is precisely what I do want to do when I'm painting. But so th the way I, I can, I can bypass my inner sensor is by um, uh, collage uh, placing things in my sketchbooks and then yeah. and then and then if if I quite like the surprise um, then I think yeah mm. I will pay that you know and it's because mm. it's not too I won't have spelt it out but um, it's just implying something yeah and it's funny isn't it because I used to feel a sort of um a sort of self-conscious, almost a shame about using found images for, you know, oh, using man. photographs and things. Because because we're taught, aren't we, when we, we head off to art school, oh, that that we're really taught yeah. about, you know, working from life and... and Primary source and, material, yeah. And, um, and yeah, and you'd, you'd sneak off to um, photocopy something and... and and reduce it or, or scale it up and print it off and you know furtively hoping that nobody <laughs> nobody yes. saw you but um yeah. see that's when you always, you always do your best work when you're <laughs> cheating or um secretly or or you know that yeah. is you really want to do it when you're doing that you know god you're well, so wrong when, you're, when you do what you ought to do you're not that passionate really and I think, um, I think, yeah, no, that you, you see, your sketchbooks are kind of full of, full of them. I think in, in the way I'd work is I, I do just as I've described. It used to be a photocopier. Now, you know, I can do it from Photoshop and, and print it off. But um, I then, I, 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 I cut out the figure or the thing or whatever it is, the thing, and, you know, and then I'll, I'll masking tape it to, to my painting, just as you described, to see what happens yes. now nah, and move it and um slide it to the side and and it's um it's it gives that layer of of relatively unexpected, doesn't it? I by adding a bit of narrative. Um and then perhaps what you've already, whatever context you've already started painting on your uh, you know, in your case, you, you often have these wild landscapes. Well, I was going to say painted, that that painting there. That, I mean, the, yeah. the figures were probably just so I could get them placed yeah. in the right, sink them into the right place, and um, yeah. But and I think then in a changes. funny way, then it then it starts having ownership in its new context. Mm, mm. Yeah, and it, yeah, and it, it it embeds itself. But I think for me, the um using using the computer working as a kind of you know designer as I do in 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 much of my life it's I got very used to using photoshop so so I felt less furtive about about combining you know my own stuff mm. using the tools that were now very familiar to me it's made it's made using found images much easier and I think also it strikes me that using or, or seeing collage from, you know, I mean, you, you're looking at some of those sort of German collagists from the 1920s or, or, or 1950s kind of collage and stuff. It's, um, there's enough space now to see, to see those as, as, as really interesting, striking, powerful, images mm. in a context that um that that time gives us I think when I would when I was you know in my teens or something and I'd collage I always felt like yet again that I was kind of shortcutting somehow well it's weird isn't it because if you think of Richard Hamilton and all those they were using found images precisely during the time when we were told not to yeah so yeah I don't know what our yeah. teachers was being a bit funny about, yeah. Yeah. Maybe they just wanted us to get us to draw for, you know, get us a, a few skills first, which is, which is true. I mean, I still do do, um, uh, I do draw from the figure, if you like, and it is mm. in, in some ways it is useful to, um, 
you know, to hone your skills a bit, but not in an, an end in Absolutely. Itself. Oh, no, yeah. I absolutely agree. Or I'll, um, like, you know, the rookery painting, which you can't see because it's on that wall over there, but the rookery painting, I mean, it's, my reference is is right outside. It's the yeah. trees are, are there. In fact, you can probably see the reflection in this. You can see oh, the reflection, yes, can't yes, you? There's, all, yeah. there's my yeah. trees. And you can yeah. see from uh, compared to the painting, you know, the that that recurring the the trunks of trees, you know, it's the reference is right outside. Yeah. But I rarely, I mean a handful of times I've looked and and drawn or painted directly, but mostly I've stared at those trees so much. That you've absorbed so them. That um yeah. You know, it's like, you know, when you, you run indoors from, from a hot sunny day outside, you run indoors and, and, and somehow inside your eyes, you can, you've captured that kind of, you know, yeah, yeah. black and white image. It's, it's like that. I think Tal R you, says, you know, if you've got something in your pocket right in the beginning, um, you know, it gives you the, it's a talisman that you can take with you to, start a painting and then you kind of get into it and yeah um you're on uh, on a roll then Corvid, the, the exhibition <clears throat> about the rooks and so on you were out looking at rooks every day you yeah, were so how understand. how much did you use the reference Again, then? i i was desperately trying to take photographs with my um, phone you know as I approached but um, they were very shy and um, uh, even when I zoomed in once I got home on my uh, rather distant my phone isn't very good I must admit at the moment I need an upgrade I think <laughs> anyway um, they weren't quite good enough to work from but I got that I got that uh, the feeling of what happens when they're all like lying on or, or, or stretching around on the on the grass pecking and hunting for bugs and stuff and then alarmed they they all flutter up and then land again like a few meters away and up and down and and then so I absorbed all that so that when I went onto the internet sort of um uh out on the hunt for appropriate um imagery i knew what i was looking for and sometimes because the, there are bits of video uh, uh, and um i liked you know to um stop frame you know some bits of video and things and work from that but often working from my phone you know i didn't even print out i just i just work from my phone um and Is that so, all of that you know, staring again, half the time i think i'm uh, I, I don't swear up or anything, you know, I, it's just enough information. Uh, I've looked enough and I've got that actual image is enough information for me to... So they're prompts, they're, they're just prompts. Prompt. Mm. And then once you're actually painting, it, as ever, as we well know, once yeah. you start painting, it becomes its own thing anyway. And yeah. um, the other thing I, I was going to say about your your sketchbooks but your the mark making the the bits the bits that oh, you can yes. collage oh, and then yeah. and then add to a painting but they're they you use yeah, those I mean, in much have, the same way i have all these i i um <laughs> i collect all my bits of paper and my my gestural marks and my, you know all these kind of yeah, um yeah uh bits and I use I have them around and sometimes when I'm feeling a bit cautious or uncertain I will just paint on paper um, but it's funny because anyone um, who has known you for you know anyone who knows you anyone who's known you for you know th there was you know a long time ago you um you designed jewelry yeah resin, resin jewelry and stuff but those those marks and i've seen you do it on fabric and i've seen you do it i mean i've seen you wear fabric where you yes. know exactly just... those marks yeah and it's i mean it's it's to call it scribble is is too you know it's it's the wrong no, I'm word very fussy. i'm very fussy about i was gonna bit. say you i can spot a pat thornton scribble from a mile off, because it's not, it's it's very, it, 
it's your signature it's but you use those it's in, kind of in their writing it's kind of it is funny it's it's sort of uh, the bits i like are often a bit like writing writing um types of line as well I'm trying to find an example but um but it's, it, what's interesting about your, you know, you see it in your sketchbooks and then, in, you know, ever so yeah, much in your kind paintings. Of, these kind of marks, yeah. I quite like them when they form. They're so, yeah, they're so, they're so you. <laughs> but when they, I, but, I wonder so whether you fun. use them in the same way as, as you would your, 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 you know, those people. They're, they're yeah. gestures and they have tension and they have, um, they 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 part composition. They're part um, yeah. They add to yeah. that that the, the noise of the painting, the the atmosphere of the painting. Yes, I think it, you're right. I think it contributes to the because um, I like to juxtapose it between quite sort of um, uh, figurative elements and then these great you know gestural marks. It it imposes. Um, a, a, set, a feeling or an emotion perhaps to impart that to the image like and the I mean sometimes the, the you know the, the suddenly that the red marks down the down the side I'm for some reason I'm thinking about your kind of um I don't know what to call them the Arab Spring paintings oh well yeah those, those a few um, years ago yeah um when I used to see on, on the internet um uh, images from Syria um, with where uh, people were uh, emerging out of bombed streets holding their, you know, babies, but even holding teenage boys and in their arms. And I was immediately struck by the similarity between um, religious paintings um, and all those um, Christ Pieta images that I sort of grew up with in my religious childhood. Um, and I was very moved, I was so moved by those images. And uh, yes, I'm, uh, it, you know, then I felt a bit guilty about sort of, I wasn't so obsessed really about the context, but just the passionate, the, the drama, the, the feeling in those um, uh, captured moments. Um, and so, yeah, I did quite a few, um, I did a lot of uh, monoprints and silk screens using those mm. images. Yeah. Mm. But that, they, there was a noticeable kind of poking in the, the, the positioning of those, of your, of your mark making, you know, of your, that, that you would, you would create a yeah, print or a painting and a painting. And then and then at the side there'd be a kind of bit of, I don't know, those red marks. Oh, yes. And, yeah, and okay. it's yeah, and it it, it 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 would do that thing of kind of 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 making the painting feel or the image feel kind of oh, pulled. And yeah. I think you're, you're very, I notice that a lot in your work. You're very good at, at kind of creating a kind of it feels like an imbalance, but not compositionally, but a kind of like a tension, like, you know, it's, it's noticeable yes. the way you use it. It's, uh, it's, it's ever so much part of the Pat Thornton language. In fact, that's, that's what I'm still, I still look, sometimes look at my sketchbooks and I, I feel I achieve it better there than I do sometimes in my paintings. I tend to fine tune um, my paintings too much sometimes I think and um, but I am working towards capturing something a bit more um, like that. Is it um, to do with scale do you think or do you think it's it's the it's the difference between working in a sketchbook on a bit of paper and the kind of yeah you know, I think it's like um, uh, the first idea then I feel I've got to do it properly um, but there's that, that thing like I got if I'm doing it on a painting, I must develop it. You know though that you know I've got to take it on somewhere else. You know I've got to uh, 
you know, the sketchbook is the germ of the idea and I've got to develop it on the painting, which is um, all a bit art schooly. But, um, whereas in fact, I think sometimes I've captured what I want to say first time round. <laughs> I think I start straight on the canvas because I have the germ of an idea. Yeah. But then the actual painting of it, the development, it turns it into something else. So it often it, it ends up being a painting I had no idea I was going to paint. Although the, you know, I mean, the rookery one. I knew I wanted to paint a, a rookery because I'd got this, you know, I'd been thinking for a long time about nests and and what that means and you know and we talked a lot about, mm. about that and then but when I actually started to paint it it would because it was a big painting I put it on the floor and started sort of coloring it in you know the <laughs> development yeah. and one but once I was doing that listening to music painting between the branches and then and then other things started to happen and it became the essence of it is that it's still the rookery but but other things happened inside it. So I think the nature of painting is that there is, there is often a development phase or the, you know, the colouring in phase, isn't there? That's, is that too awful a thing? Well, to... <laughs> in a way, sometimes it's learning when to stop sometimes is important, isn't it? Um, well, in my stuff, anyway, I'm trying to loosen up a bit more on my painting and not tidy it up. Um, but um, I'm quite in, I, 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 this one, I feel actually has something, um, can you? Yeah, I can, yeah. This um, painting, that is the, the, the kind of landscape element. Um, some of those walks we've done, you know, on the downs yeah. where um, we come across a, a skeleton of a barn Oh, but so it's got a, it, you've created a structure, a space. Yeah. And then, and then you, do you imagine that? that I a imagine figure will... I want a figure or, uh, yeah, in that yellow space. Yeah. Um, but I want to keep it as loose as that and not feel I need to tidy it up. I feel I'm halfway there. <laughs> no, that looks, I, I love it. And the colour, that, that yellow. But yes, it's a bit bright, isn't it? But there again, we're coming. Yeah, it's that um, oilseed rape. It would be good to to home in on on you know a specific painting and talk about its yeah its sort of even yes yeah, even sort of mid or we could even go because I hope to be working on this one. <laughs> you might be able yeah. to see what happens there. Yeah. No, that's